you want me to do more related, pro related, related race problems after I've done the examples that I want to do, you let me know. I'll do even more. You just haven't quite got it because it can be tricky sometimes. Which one? Related rates can be a little tricky sometimes. Oh, 3.10, you're saying? Yeah, 3.10 okay. is done. Okay. Well, I'll ask can you we? later, actually. You, first have, you have a question about something earlier? 310? It was not about 310. No, so earlier than 310. Yeah. Yeah, what is it? We'll go ahead and do that first if you want. Oh, okay. Well, hold on. I highlighted it. Since it's with respect to x, the 4x squared is the standard derivative, 8x. And over here, standard derivative may be 0. Right? The derivative of a constant is 0. So now we just have this intermediate piece here, 2xy and this 2y squared. So they have y's in them, it's a little different. <coughs> so we'll have plus, this is going to become a product rule. So it will be, if we consider 2x to be the first function, and y to be the second in this product, then we'll have the derivative of first is a regular derivative, the function of x with respect to x, so you get 2 times y, the second, right? Derivative of first times the second, plus the second, sorry, what did I just say? So derivative of first times the second, so now I need derivative of second times the first. So the first is just 2x, but I need the derivative of the second. So that's going to be the dy dx symbols, right? Derivative of y with respect to x is the dy dx object we're actually looking for in this problem. And the derivative of 2y squared is a product rule, product rule, I quit, is a uh, power rule, but it has y inside the power. So it is a chain. So 4y, y prime, 4y dy dx, okay? Any questions about that so far? Wait, um, does it matter? I don't think it matters. First time through the second, second time through the first business? Yeah. No. Okay. No. Wait, what you ask? About this order here, I think I did it in a different order than I usually do. Yeah. It doesn't matter. The more important one is the quotient rule, which has a minus in it, so the, the order does matter, it will negate the result. All right, so now what we need to do is get everything with dy dx on one side and everything without on the other. So we're going to move these two terms to the other side. So we'll have 2x dy dx plus 4y dy dx equal to negative 8x minus 2y. 
problem is I ate too much candy today. Yeah. What? I came here early to get some business done. And uh, they had this, maybe I think they had this every day, I didn't realize. They had this basket of candy downstairs. Where? In faculty cubby. Oh, yeah. Not, not <laughs> where you have access to, but you know. <laughs> and that's all I had today. What does it taste like? What do you mean? Three Musketeers. It tastes like Three Musketeers. Oh. Milky Way tastes like Milky Way. And uh, Hershey tastes like Hershey. So you're talking a lot. But there's nothing, so there's nothing else to eat with that. So it's chocolate. And I've been here since the morning. So that's all I ate all day. I did piles of candy. It doesn't happen very often. I think it's mine a little bit off today. Okay. So since I use candy, can you just explain the quick, the 2xy, how that game 2y plus 2x would be? This here? Yeah. So if we take if we consider this to be the first function and this the second in, in this product, right? First and second. So then I took the derivative of the first, that's the two, mm -hmm. times the second, plus the derivative of second, which is dy dx, times the first. Okay. Now we need to factor off the dy dx. So if we take the dy dx, the thing we're trying to find, from both of these terms, we'll have the 2x plus 4y left over on the left, and the right stays the same. Now we just divide off by this factor here. So we get dy dx negative 8x minus 2y over 2x plus 4y. Everything has a 2, so we'll take out the 2. So that really equals negative 4x minus y over x plus 2y. <coughs> There's our simplified form. So now we need to find this result at 2 comma 1. They give us the full point, they give us x and y. So we'll just plug this in here. So dy dx at 2 comma 1 is going to be negative 4 times 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 2 times 1. So the top reads negative 9, and the bottom reads, I was, say, I was hoping it was a 3, but it looks like it's a 4. So we have negative 9 quarters for the slope at that point. So now for the equation, the tangent line must be that y equals this slope y equals negative 9 quarters x plus the unknown y-intercept of the tangent line, and then just plug in 2, 1, and you can find the, the y-intercept. So 1 equals negative 9 quarters times 2 plus 8. So 1 plus 9 halves equals 8. So that's 11 halves. So now we know the tangent line is y equals negative 9 quarters x plus 11 halves. And why, okay, so like what I messed me up was that at the, the first red line, it says 4y dy dx. I didn't put the y there and then it's... You didn't put the dy dx here? No, I didn't put the y. This y? Yeah. Okay. So. Because regular power rule first. So the two comes down. <coughs> you have four yeah. y to the first. Okay. All right, there's still a power here. I just thought because it was a y, there's no reason to write a y. Now that's the 